The words that begin the liturgy with the priests raising the gospel above the altar, blessed be the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are invoking, we are asking the Holy Spirit to accept the congregation and all of us gathered there in the ecclesia, in the church, to accept us into his kingdom and we are thereby also inviting ourselves and recognizing ourselves that we are members of his kingdom. As such, we have certain responsibilities. We recognize him as king and God. We recognize him as our protector. It is we then willingly placing ourselves under his domain, under his protection, that we are coming and recognizing ourselves as his slaves. We are bringing a set of petitions, a set of requests that we are asking our God to consider. The first petition in peace, let us pray to the Lord, is perhaps the one that sets the tone for the entire liturgy in that we are being asked to remind ourselves that peace, peace within ourselves, peace within our hearts, our souls, is that ultimately what we are all searching for and we are all asking God's direction to receive. So with the words in peace, let us pray to the Lord, we are beginning to place ourselves in God's care and we are approaching asking Him to calm us, to accept the fact that He is there with us and then we bring along the rest of the petitions. The petitions themselves as we listen to each one of them are recitations of various events in our lives, things that will occur that uh, have to do everywhere from government to uh, aspects of our business lives, our school life, uh, our health, uh, remembering people who are ill. As we listen to each one of these petitions being offered by the priest, it is suggested that the congregation take each of the petitions and turn it around and make it a prayer, a declarative statement of his own, and in this way participating in what is being offered during the Divine Liturgy, meaning when we say for asking for uh, peace and for protection upon those who are traveling by sea, land, and air, surely any of us, all of us perhaps, will be able to remember some loved one, family, friend member, who is traveling and at that point make a brief prayer to God saying, please protect my friend or my cousin or my whomever and mention that person by name. This is appropriate to offer at this time when it, we hear the petition talking about for the health of someone. This is again very appropriate in our moment, in that moment of, of uh, opportunity to ask God to be merciful and to provide his healing powers upon this particular person and mentioning this person by name. So this is what the role of the petitions was and is. This is an opportunity to offer specific prayers, a number of prayers for various people as well as for ourselves as they are being suggested by the priest. For peace from above, for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord.
each petition is being offered and indeed throughout many areas of the divine liturgy we will hear responses by the chanter, the choir, the congregation. The words Lord have mercy or Kyrie eleison, they will be chanted. These are ways by which the congregation is offering their seal, their stamp of approval upon the petition that has been offered by the priest. It is in fact when the congregation responds, it is their statement of saying, yes, this is our petition too. This is what we are praying to you also, our Lord, and please have mercy on us. This is sort of like putting our own individual amen uh, after each particular petition is being offered. Amen, of course, means so be it or allow it to be. At the end of the set of petitions and in the coming antiphons, we will notice a particular ending that it may sound a little bit unique. Actually, it's a connecting point. It's, uh, it's a way by which the following parts of the liturgy, the antiphons, are being strung together. The petition begins with, Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace, commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, glorified Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. This petition is a reminder to all of us that we are human beings. As such, we are in constant need of His help and His guidance and His protection. But we also have very special people that have existed before us and people that are existing around us even to this very day who are also offering their prayers on our behalf. As Christ mentioned to us all the way through the Holy Scriptures that we are in need of each other's prayers. Uh, we are not a religion that believes in the ability to save ourselves. We must work with each other. So as we break apart this particular petition, we are in fact listening to ourselves saying we are in need of the Theotokos' prayers. She who bore the Christ is seen as having a special position, a special place close to Him and a special influence, if you will. And this is the anthropomorphic way of describing uh, relationships, spiritual relationships, our spiritual relationships with God. And we are asking for her prayers. And if you understand the second part, as we listen to the second part, we will hear, and let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We are understanding that we must be praying also for each other. I cannot get into heaven by myself. I need your help, but you need my help also. We are all interconnected. We are all involved, and we all must continue to pray for each other if we are wanting to enter the kingdom of God. As an added thought, as far as participating in the divine liturgy, what can we be doing in addition to offering our own specific prayers during, perhaps during the initial uh, recitation of the petitions or when we hear a particular prayer that is very meaningful to us a very apt and appropriate response at that point would be not only offering the prayer from our own hearts and from our own lips but also even making the sign of the cross thereby emphasizing the fact that this is also a prayer from us the making of the sign of the cross is, is itself considered to be a prayer and it is also helping us to participate with the words with the prayers that are being offered by the priest on our behalf help us save us and protect us O god by your grace 